What's up everybody, to Yellow Auto Sports. In this video, I'm just gonna show you real quick how to do Tesla side window. Now a side window on a Tesla is nice because it's a uh, frameless. So essentially you're just gonna bring a pattern, bring it to the inside. The big thing with the frameless door is you actually gotta trick your lock. What I mean by that is a lot of these frameless windows, when you put them in or when you open the door, they kind of come down and then they go back up. So you gotta trick the lock so that the window's fully all the way up. We've got the pattern. We used core to plot this pattern. We shrunk it as well because this class does need a little bit of shrinking just because of the curve. We've already prepped the inside. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna slip it um, just to get any contaminants that might be on there off the car or off the glass. I'm gonna apply plenty of slip on my glass, including behind the gasket, because that's where um, I'm gonna need the most slip for this to slide. I'm gonna go ahead and peel my tint or the liner completely off. And I'm gonna apply a ton of slip as much as I can because I want this to be real slippery when I bring it to the inside. Now, this part is an important part, how you bring it onto the inside. I'm gonna grab the tint with very little touch and I'm gonna flip it right over the glass. I'm gonna try to bring this bottom edge as far down as I can. And if you see, I'm actually rolling the top over. The reason I'm doing that is I don't want it to rub on the top of this glass. Sometimes you have a lot of contaminants there, even when you clean. You get this bottom nice and straight, completely even. That should allow you to slide it down. When you're down this far, you should be able to roll this up and fall just below your top edge, just like this. So your top edge never truly, your film never actually touched the top. That means that you didn't have any chance of getting contaminants. On frameless windows, a lot of times you'll get contaminants near the top line. So you want to avoid touching that. Now all I got to do is just line up, make sure I've got even distribution. Your light gap should be the same on pretty much all angle. You want it to be nice and uniform. Once you've done that, I'm just gonna go ahead and squeegee. My first squeegee is gonna be light. I am not looking to tack it in place. I'm just looking to dress it. So I'm just eliminating the water that's behind this film. We're not tacking just yet, which is why we're using our soft, softer blade. I'm gonna double check and realign if I have to. I'm also gonna squeegee the bottom one time. Okay, now I trust the placement of my film. Now all I gotta do is lock it in place, use a little more slip, and now we're using our Blue Max. I'm always gonna use one hand to kind of keep the film in place, just so it doesn't shift on me. Now I'm using a lot of pressure, but I'm not trying to drag the film across because I've already got it placed how I want it. So you don't wanna get it to shift now. Now one squeegee, if you trust yourself, is usually good enough, but sometimes, just for insurance, I'm gonna go and squeegee it a second time. Now I'm gonna use my hard card. I'm gonna do one last pass on the bottom, make sure all this water here falls behind the gasket. Once that's done, go ahead and wipe your door card, wipe your window, make it nice and pretty for the clients, and you are all done.